but hi guys so let's start the next episode of 5 mcqs in 5 minutes most of the question here is going to be inspired from previous year inict questions but rest assured this series is equally going to be beneficial for neat pg and fmg aspirants as well the very first question that we are having today is the following side effect is seen due to which drug you have seen this one sometime uh, image based or sometimes you can simply give you the word that hypertrichosis which of the following drug will be causing hypertrichosis or trichomegaly hai na so this one will be mainly due to bimetoprost that is one of the PGF2 alpha analog, PGF2 alpha analog, they will be causing hypertrichosis. And I ask you to remember the side effect of PGF2 alpha analog by the very simple mnemonic of PGF2 alpha itself. You write them as a PGF2 alpha, P G P G F2 that is double F and alpha. These are the important side effect of PGF2 alpha analog that happens to be the drug of choice for open angle glaucoma. They are the drug of choice in open angle glaucoma that is latanoprost, bimatoprost, all of them. That is going to cause problems like your pigmentation of iris. Pigmentation of iris, this is called heterochromia iridis. Sometimes it will be hyperchromia iridis as well because one eye color will be different from the other. So heterochromia that is different. Hai na? Then other one will be your growth of eyelashes, hypertrichosis, is which is what we saw in this question. Foreign body sensation is something that can also be seen. Foreign body sensation. Fat atrophy of the orbit. You can easily understand if there is a fat atrophy of the orbit, there will be Enophthalmus, enophthalmus, not exophthalmus. There will be enophthalmus if there is a fat atrophy of the orbit, and also they can lead to acute anterior uveitis. That is another problem that can be seen with this one. Right? So the common side effect that has been seen that that can be associated with this type of drug will be PG up to alpha. Another point that you should remember about this question, or in a question like this, what is the other question that examiner can ask you? That what about pilocarpine? It's one of the M3 agonist, undoubtedly pilocarpine. It can lead to a condition called pseudomyopia that is another one of the important side effects pseudomyopia apart from that it can also lead to bro ache that is frontal headache bro ache frontal headache because of the cirrhotic muscle spasm apraclonidin bremoidin they are the alpha 2 agonists can be used in glaucoma yes they are associated with side effect like drowsiness they are, can cause side effect like drowsiness and they can also cause problem like your apnea acetazolamide dorsolamide brinzolamide they are the carbonic anhydrase inhibitor associated with side effect like your you know, urinary alkalosis urinary alkalosis or metabolic acidosis hyperchloremic metabolic acidosis is the problem that can be associated with them apart from that there are many other side effects like increasing the risk of renal stone paresthesias all of the all other problems that can be associated with this carbonic anhydrase inhibitor and a correct answer for this question is going to be bimatoprost the approved device ocusert now ocusert is a new drug delivery system in which you will be seeing और ऑक्यूसर्ट ऐसे ओ जैसे मैंने बनाया बनाया ना उसी के शेप का एक ऑक्यूसर्ट डिवाइस होगा दैट विल बी प्लेस्ड इन द और बिलो और हियर अंडर द लोअर आईलिट लोअर आईलिट के नीचे हम इसको प्लेस करते हैं एंड दिस ऑक्यूसर्ट कैसे पहचानोगे आंख के नीचे शो करेगा और ओ के जैसा रहेगा ऑक्यूसर्ट दिस ऑक्यूसर्ट इज मेनली कंटेनिंग पाइलोकार्पिन दे मेनली हैज पाइलोकार्पिन so pilocarpine ki delivery ke liye mainly we are going to utilize them in upcoming series we are also having image based question in which they have shown ocusort how does ocusort look like and if you have been following my uh, series previously also we have shown that image hai na to ocusort is mainly used for delivering pilocarpine mainly utilized for the treatment of your angle glaucoma glaucoma can also be utilized for open angle glaucoma as well to remember that not propranolol not atropine ocusort is a drug new drug delivery system in which we are actually delivering pilocarpine as a drug a patient with history of panic episode followed by depression so there is a mania followed by depression so definitely they are actually talking about bipolar disorder okay was it started on drug which act as a prophylaxis against this problem which of the following agent is not used in this patient so all of the following can be used except that means they are telling ki bipolar disorder mein jitne diye sab use kar sakte hain except so this is an all except question kaun sa nahi use karenge remember so phenytoin is something that cannot be used phenytoin is one of the voltage gated sodium channel blocker it is one of the drug that is having anti epileptic property anti epileptic drug apart from that remember it is a class 1b anti arrhythmic drug as well they do have anti arrhythmic property but they do not have action against your bipolar disorder definitely valproate can be utilized valproate is a drug of choice in a patient with a rapid cycler anyone who is having 
मैनिया डिप्रेशन फोर साइकिल पर ईयर उसको बोलते हैं रैपिड साइकिल मैनिया डिप्रेशन एक साइकिल एक मैनिया एक डिप्रेशन एक साइकिल तो वैसे अगर चार साइकिल पर ईयर हो रहा है या मोर देन फोर ईयर फोर एपिसोड फोर साइकिल उसको बोलते हैं रैपिड साइकिल उसमें ड्रग ऑफ चॉइस होता है डेफिनेटली वी ऑल्सो यूटिलाइज ए टिपिकल एंटीसाइकोटिक्स एंड प्रोपीरामेट इन आवर बाईपोलर डिसऑर्डर पेशेंट है ना तो बाईपोलर डिसऑर्डर में मैं यूजली एक निमोनी को बोलता हूँ कि फॉर बाईपोलर डिसऑर्डर देर इज अ ड्रग कॉल लिथियम एंड लिथियम एक्ट वेल राइट लिथियम एक्ट वेल इन बाइपोल डिसऑर्डर नो वट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ लिथियम एक्ट वेल सो एवरी निमोनिक इज गोइंग टू वेरी मच रियलिस्टिक यू कैन कोरिलेट दिस एंड विदाउट मेसिंग इन द एग्जामिनेशन यू कैन इजली रिमेंबर लिथियम एक्ट वेल डेफिनेटली लिथियम इज द ड्रग ऑफ चॉइस फॉर लिथियम एक्ट वेल सो दे आर द ड्रग ऑफ चॉइस ए टिपिकल एंटी साइकोटिक इज समथिंग दैट कैन ऑल्सो भी यूटिलाइज ए टिपिकल एंटी ए टिपिकल एंटी साइकोटिक दैट कैन भी यूटिलाइज कार्रोमाजेपिन कैन भी यूटिलाइज टोपीरा में टोपी पहन के अच्छे काम करने वाले ड्रग्स इट डज लॉट ऑफ अच्छे काम लाइक ओबेसिटी माइग्रेन है ना बाइपोल डिसऑर्डर एंटी एपिलेप्टिक ड्रग एंड दे ऑल्सो है ना डिक्रीज द विट दैट इज वे दे आर यूटिलाइज इन ओबेसिटी एंड वेल स्टैंड फॉर वेल प्रोवेट है ना सो वेल प्रोवेट ए टिपिकल एंटी साइकोटिक डेफिनेटिक कैन यूटिलाइज एंड लिथियम एक्ट वेल इज अ वेरी वेरी सिंपल इमेट रिमेबर ऑल द ड्रग्स दट कैन यूटिलाइज इन बाइपोल डिसऑर्डर फेनीटोइन डज नॉट हैव एनी रोल इन बाइपोल डिसऑर्डर डेफिनेटली इट कैन भी यूटिलाइज इन एंटी रिदमिक ड्रग एंड स्टडीज हैव शोन दट दे ऑल्सो हैव वुंड हीलिंग प्रॉपर्टी तो आप आई एन आई सी टी के एक्सपीरियंट है तो आपको पता होना चाहिए कि फेनीटोइन हैज कोलाजिनेज इनिबिटिंग प्रॉपर्टी देर फोर दे ऑल्सो हैव वुंड हीलिंग प्रॉपर्टी दे प्रोमोट द कोलाजन डिपोजिशन एंड दैट एक्सप्लेन द फैक्ट वाई फेनीटोइन हैज गम हाइपर Trophy is a side effect. Most of the, the there is there will be too much collagen deposition on the gum as well, and they can lead to your gum hypertrophy as a side effect as well. A patient with major depression is started on an agent which increases the level of serotonin and noradrenaline. Increasing the level of serotonin, increasing the level of noradrenaline. They, are they talking about SNRI? Definitely serotonin. Noradrenaline reuptake inhibitor. Which of the following agent has this property? Amitriptyline, clomipramine, venlafaxine, ipramine. Now, in specific SNRI, which we call it, simply the examiner is asking which is a SNRI, which we call it serotonin noradrenaline reuptake inhibitor. So, serotonin noradrenaline reuptake inhibitor, I will tell you how to do it. Vanilla duals my love. Vanilla duals my love. Right? Vanilla duals my love. If you see, there will be drugs like your venlafaxine. डुअल्स मतलब दो हो गया ना तो आपके लव को दुगना कर देगा तो दो न्यूरो ट्रांसमीटर बढ़ रहे हैं वेल्ला फैक्सीन डुलोक्टीन माई लव विल बी मिलना सिप्रान मिलना सिप्रान एंड अदर वन विल बी लीवो मिलना सिप्रान मिलना सिप्रान एंड लीवो मिलना सिप्रान सो वेनिला डुअल्स माई लव वेल्ला फैक्सीन का एक एनालॉग होता है दैट इज अ डेस वेल्ला फैक्सीन एज वेल डेस वेल्ला फैक्सीन That is less cardiotoxic as compared to venla vaccine itself. So venla vaccine is the correct answer in this one. Imipramine that we know it can also inhibit the reuptake of this, but they are not specifically SNRI. They are classified under TCA, tricyclic antidepressant. Hena, amitriptyline, ami, and these are all TCA, tricyclic antidepressant. So agar iklota dekha ja SNRI specific kaun sa hai, to venla vaccine will be the correct answer for this question. In a patient with Parkinson's disease, carbidopa is useful in the treatment because so carbidopa, levodopa, levodopa plus carbidopa, it is considered as a drug of choice in a patient with the levodopa, carbidopa. It is considered as a drug of choice in a patient with the Parkinson's disease, especially in the elderly population. Elderly population because Parkinson's disease definitely is more commonly seen in the elderly population only. So, उसमें ये drug of choice होता है. ठीक है. Now do remember that carbidopa is added because they are the inhibitor of the peripheral dopa decarboxylase. they inhibit peripheral dopa decarboxylase therefore the peripheral conversion of levodopa to dopamine will be reduced because more conversion of levodopa to dopamine peripherally was causing action on the d1 beta1 alpha1 and that was causing most problems like let's say a high postural hypotension tachycardia hai na and reflex high hai na reflex tachycardia ye sare ke sare problem ye kar rahe the hai na because of if there's a fall in blood pressure definitely there will be reflex tachycardia and action on beta1 will also be causing tachycardia so chahe direct ho ya reflex so definitely tachycardia can be one of the problem associated with them hai na so they do not prevent the breakdown of dopamine actually they prevent the peripheral biotransformation of levodopa to dopamine hai na because levodopa to dopamine conversion it will be levodopa to dopamine conversion will be mainly due to dopa decarboxylase dopa decarboxylase is the name of the enzyme and this dopa decarboxylase is an enzyme it is present in the brain also it is present in the periphery also to ye do jagah pe hai 
ये मान लीजिए पेरीफेरी है तो पेरीफेरी में भी है एंड इज प्रेजेंट इन द ब्रेन एज वेल वी डू नॉट वॉन्ट टू अफेक्ट आवर पेरीफेर मीन सेंट्रल सेंट्रल कन्वर्जन को हम नहीं चाहते हैं रुकना वी वॉन्ट टू कन्वर्ट दिस वन द पेरीफेर वन सो पेरीफेर अगर मैं सिर्फ एंसर देके जाता हूँ तो आई विल नॉट बी एबल टू जस्टिफाई दैट क्वेश्चन माई पर्पज इज टू रिवाइज फाइव अल्ट्रा इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक इन दिस वन रेस्ट अश्योर दैट वंस यू आर गोइंग टू रिवाइज दिस इन वे दैट आई एम डिस्कसिंग एंड यू कैन even make a short note of this one five mcq in 5 5 uh, uh, minute subah ke 10 minute aap isko de dijiye and rest of the days your pharma is sorted past topic pad liya and agar ye regular basis ka exercise hoga to imagine 2 mahine mein aapka pharma ka level kya hoga right don't forget to drop a comment like share and subscribe to my channel and i'll see you in my next video thank you very much